does it really matter if I have coffee before I eat in the morning? Um, no, it's a huge, this is a huge thing right now. I don't know if you know about this, Mike, because mm-hmm. you're not really do. on social media. Do you know about this? I do because it was Chris Williamson's main pitch for the electrolyte he promotes on his podcast was that uh, caffeine is an adenosine blocker and that you actually want to have salt for your first 90 minutes of the day and that you shouldn't actually have caffeine until after 90 minutes after the time you've woken up, which I tried for, I think, one day and just ruined the joy (laughs) of the morning. Like having even a few sips of coffee, just a tradition upon waking up for me personally. Um, so my personal opinion is you can drink coffee, not whenever you want to, but you don't have to wait 90 minutes to drink coffee. And, and there's something to be said about over optimizing your life, right? Uh, you can do some things not because they have 400 RCTs backing them up, but just because you enjoy doing them. Right. And drinking coffee when I wake up for me personally is one of those things. I can't stand these like life optimization. Okay. You need to wake up at this time to make sure your circadian rhythms are all good. And then you need to have this type of thing in order to block this and this type of thing to integrate that. And then you need to, it's like, I would love, you know, candid camera, you're on candid camera, you know, that shit. I would love to watch some of these like life optimization people be on a candid camera so that we could see what they actually do like what does their life actually look like there's no fucking way that number one that they're doing all this stuff and you have to remember if they're doing all this stuff if they do all of these health optimization things that they're like and it takes up a pretty significant portion of their life that means they are not optimal in other areas of their life because there has to be give and take and if they're spending so much time doing this like life optimization shit then it means they're neglecting other things in their life i can't fucking stand how pe the only you know why this happens i'll tell you what the only reason this stuff is so big on social media youtube instagram why these these posts are being made is because people are looking for something unique to say to go viral Mm. It's like their their main goal is to go viral. Their main goal is not to help. Their main goal is to go viral and get a lot of views because it built it gets their sponsors because it it drives more followers, which can get them more money. Their main goal is more followers, more money. What can I say to make that happen? That's mm. the goal. And when your goal is to help people, it's hard to compute that someone else's goal would be different than yours. And so, like this whole concept of don't have coffee before like for the first 90 minutes it it didn't stem from someone actually wanting to help people it stemmed from someone being like what can i say that people haven't heard before that is going to get a lot of people talking and then people hear that and then people who actually do want to help people hear it because they trust the person who said it and then they start spewing it thinking that it's actually true and then it proliferates like fucking cancer And it just, then all these people think that this is true. And this is how misinformation spreads rapidly fast on social media. It cough and the whole concept is like, yeah, it spikes your cortisol. It's people who don't know how to spell cortisol. They don't know the function of cortisol. They don't know what it does. They, the only thing they know about it is that it's the stress hormone. That's literally all they know about cortisol. All of a sudden are now trying to prevent spikes in cortisol. It's like, shut the fuck up. Coffee in the morning is totally fine. I like it. I like it a lot. Good rant. I would say even I agree that there is a ton of that going on. I'd be willing to concede that there is good science to support the fact that there are benefits to delaying your coffee. And that still doesn't mean, even if let's just pretend that's true. That still doesn't mean that you have to delay your coffee, right? That's like, if that's true, it's like the 900,000th most important thing that you need to be doing. And focusing on things one through five to start, 
rather than on thing 900,000 is a much better approach, especially if you enjoy drinking coffee first thing in the morning. Not to mention the benefits of drinking coffee first thing in the morning. If you want to lose body fat, appetite is a, you know, let's say you're overweight or obese, which is, is a significant percentage of the population. One tool that's been very, very effective for many of my clients, your clients, many people in the world is drinking caffeine and pushing their first meal back, not doing any sort of crazy fasting schedule, but just not having that first meal of the day, those first calories of the day until an hour or two hours or three hours after waking up. That can be very effective. It extends the eight hours of fasting that you're sleeping, maybe an hour or two before bed, and then a couple hours when you wake up. It makes it easier to limit total calories. And it's easier if you have 100 milligrams or 120 milligrams or 150 milligrams of caffeine via a delicious cup of coffee first thing in the morning when you wake up while you scroll on your phone, hang out with your kids, get them breakfast, do some work, whatever it is. Dude, yes. And you hit on such a good point where it's like there might be some science showing that there's benefits to delaying it. But there's also science showing that depending on the goal, there are benefits to not delaying it. Like there, there are pros and cons. So there mm-hmm. are there are probably pros to delaying it and there are pros to not delaying it. And you've got to decide which one is right for you. But for this just blanket fear mongering of you shouldn't ever have it within the first 90 minutes or you shouldn't have it on an empty stomach or whatever, it's like, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, it's just so obnoxious. 